Hello everyone, what is up? Welcome back to another episode by the Pokemonster. And as you can see in front of you, we have another Pokemon card box break today of a Korean 151 booster box. Now as you can also see, I do, I'm doing another voiceover slash narrative. I was chilling with a friend yet again. I want to make a usual thing out of it to do the first part of a box break together with friends and draw the conclusion in the second episode when I open up the second half of the booster packs by myself. So I tried to get some, I did some research on Pokemon 151, just to keep you entertained and informed during our first part of the box break. It is already July guys, can you imagine the first half of the year has already passed. Time flies when you have fun. Now let's dive straight into it. So I checked for an overview of the set and obviously it, uh, Pokemon card 151 is an expansion of the Scarlet to Violet Pokemon era. Uh, the name of the set is Pokemon 151 and it focuses on the original 151 Pokemon from the Kanto region. So the set is dedicated to those original 151 featuring updated artwork and card mechanics for these classic characters. So the artwork and design, the set is known for its nostalgic appeal with many cards featuring artwork that pays homage to the original design from the late 90s, like you have the Abra and such. Some cards include special art variants, full art cards and other unique visual treatments. There are different card types, just like any Pokemon card set. It includes standard Pokemon cards, trainer cards and energy cards in, f in f various rarities as well including common uncommon rares hollow rares ultra rares now i think i might have forgotten some well the there is a chapter about the special cards a little more detail full art cards are high detail illustrations that cover the entire card secret cards or secret rares are numbered beyond the official set list. So for example the Full Art Venusaur and the Full Art Charizard are both secret rares. You have some alternate art cards which are variants with different artworks from the standard card. Just like the Sepdos or the LKSM. Unfortunately we have not pulled one today. Illustrator Illustration rares are rare cards featuring special artwork by renowned Pokemon illustrators. Well, today we have a couple of nice ones. Also one by Mitsuhiro Arida, I believe. You just have to see and find out for yourself. Today's episode is a bit shorter and that's how I want to continue onward with doing the first part of the episode a bit shorter. When I come back tomorrow to open the next part of the booster box we make it a little longer because we can include a summary and such. Now if we dive into the gameplay mechanics. This set introduces new abilities and attacks relevant to the modern metagame. Some cards feature classic moves updated for the current gameplay environment as well. Now this set has a huge collector appeal. It has a high interest among collectors due to the nostalgic factor and the inclusion of the original 151 Pokemon, like we just spoke about. The special foil treatments and rare variants are particularly sought after. So like what I said, the Charizard EX special illustration rare is very sought after. The Blastoise and the Finisher both are equally sought after in my opinion. You have the Alakazam and the Zepdos, the Zepdos being one of my favorites. And you have Erika's Hospitality. Erika's Invitation? I can't remember, I have a couple of them. Which also has a secret rare, special illustration rare card. So we also have the Pikachu, obviously running through the city. I think running down the stairs. And the legendary Pokemon featured in this set are Mewtwo, Articuno, Zepdos, Moltres and Mew, obviously. So before we dive into the conclusion of today's video, there are some tips for collectors. 
You can collect sealed products from this set. It has booster bundles, elite trainer boxes, and special collection boxes with even a binder or a poster. And I think in the future this set and the sealed products of it will be highly sought after. So I have collected a couple of ETBs in English. I've collected a couple of collection, binder collection uh, products, boxes. And we are now opening up the, the Korean variants. And I might purchase some Japanese boxes as well, booster boxes. Also the special illustration rares and secret rares are definitely going to be highly sought after in the future. Due to this nostalgic factor. So con the conclusion. Pokemon 151 is a highly nostalgic set that pays tribute to the original of the origins of Pokemon. It's designed to appeal to both long-term fans and new players, combining classic characters with modern card game mechanics. Collectors and players alike find value in the set's special art rares and the timeless appeal of the original 151 Pokemon. Now with ha the, having that set guys, thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you all back tomorrow when we open up the second part of the booster box. Subscribe. Thank you for watching. See ya.